Hello everybody, it's Pun to Frugal Streamer, and I have top three beginner tips for Meld Studio. Number one, nested scenes. When you begin building your scenes in Meld, build scenes that you will use in other scenes. Think of a source or a group of sources that you'd use over and over, your webcam and stream alerts being the most obvious choices. Other options could include uh, social media widgets or lower thirds. But why nest them? Well, it's easy. Let's use your webcam as an example. If you want to change your webcam, add effects, or add a layer to it, if you do it to your nested scene, you will also make changes wherever else you use the nested scene and other scene. It'll save you a lot of time and any changes that you make will be uniform in all your other scenes. This is another great tip for beginners. Take advantage of the import and export scenes. Use the import and export function in Meld for your scene collections. You'd be surprised how quickly it loads compared to scene collections in OBS. First, with your default Meld scene, export that scene. This will give you a base to import whenever you want to wipe your scenes and build a new collection. Also, once you have built out your stream scenes, make another export naming it whatever you want, like main scenes, for instance. For me, I have two that I use regularly, my mainstream scenes and another collection for just recording videos. This would also work if you stream for another organization and you want to build a scene collection for them. Also, Meld does a killer job at importing OBS scene collections, so save yourself a lot of time and pain and export your scenes over to Meld that way. My number three beginner tip and the last one for this video is the Magic Mic. Magic Mic is a free VST plugin that you can use for your microphone and it performs two basic functions. First is auto gain control and then the second is variable noise suppression. The AGC works quite well and will save you time and it will save your bacon if you do not know how to say, set your gain properly. The noise suppression gives you four levels to choose from depending on how loud your environment is. Low, medium, high, and very high. Just remember, the higher you go, the more your vocal will also be affected. So I recommend reducing as much room noise as you can and then begin with low and see how it sounds and then go up from there until you are pleased with the result. So those are my top three beginner tips from Meld Studio. If you like this video and you want more, please take the opportunity to hit like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification and you'll know when I have a video that goes live. I have a full mail studio playlist full of guys to help your mail journey become as smooth as possible. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you in the next video.